<laughs> it's really great to have you on board here, uh, as I said, at the Blue Planet Berlin Water Dialogues. And of course, the right yes, exactly. Here it is. So the Thank stage you. is all yours. <laughs> Thank you very much, Katie. Yes. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues. Thank you very, very much for the invitation to address Blue Planet this year and share Euro's views on smart water for resilient cities. It is a topic that is of key interest to us in Euro. Next slide. Let me start. Do I move it or ah, there it is. Let me start with a brief look at European Water Services and its European Association, Euro. Euro is the European Federation of National Associations of Water Services. It was founded in 1975 and our 34 members represent water operators that supply drinking water to consumers and return treated wastewater safely to the environment. If water is a public good, so it is also true that providing water services is an activity with important technical, economic, managerial and regulatory aspects, whether carried out by public or private operators. Water is essential for life and water services are essential too. Water services support the sustainable development of our societies and are fundamental to realizing the ambition of the UN Sustainable Development Goals as well as the ambitions of the European Green Deal. But little is known about them. Next slide. This is because the infrastructure is mainly underground, accessible only to a few technicians, and also because it's sometimes situated far from urban areas and protected for obvious security reasons. What appears to be a simple day-to-day -day service is in reality the result of complex processes and advanced technologies. Each solution is adapted to the specific local circumstances. They depend on factors such as population density, the type and available quantity of water resources, required treatment levels, local topography, and many other elements. Over the last decades, water services have improved significantly in terms of quality and accessibility. Our sector has also substantially increase the levels of health and environmental protection, as well as the level of resilience, while at the same time reducing energy demand and embracing circular economy principles. Today, 95% of European citizens have access to high quality drinking water, while 86% of people are connected to wastewater services. The European drinking and wastewater pipe network is over 7 million kilometers long, which will get you to the moon and back almost 20 times. Our assets have long life cycles, at least 30 years for facilities and around a century for drinking water networks and wastewater collection systems. It is vital that we plan and consistently invest in our systems on that long-term basis, including the maintenance of existing assets. And in this context, innovation has been a key enabling factor in this ongoing process. Or in a nutshell, innovation is crucial to help the water sector meet the challenges of the sustainable development goals, to adapt to climate change, to become more efficient, more robust, comply with legislation at all levels and deliver on the European Green Deal ambitions. Next slide. There is a tremendous set of legal files relevant for the water sector under evaluation, revision or approval at EU level. For example, the European Drinking Water Directive was recently reviewed in a long process. The directive established the legal framework for drinking water operators for decades to come. The requirements are high. For example, comprehensive risk analysis and risk management, 
now to be applied to all drinking water production processes from source to tap, as well as stringent limits for new substances like PFAS, although their treatment is rather challenging and new for operators. Besides this, there is another important legislative file which is vital to wastewater operators under revision at the moment, the Urban Wastewater Treatment Directive. We know that the European Commission is very, very keen to push for advanced treatment to eliminate, to eliminate contaminants of emerging concern and of pipe, to challenge operators to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, to increase energy efficiency and the use of renewable energy and to deliver on the circular economy by nitrogen and phosphorus recovery and reuse. At the same time, there are other directives under revision like the security of network and information systems, the NIST directive and the resilience for critical entities directive. All of these directives have a direct impact on how we become more resilient, more robust and smart to the challenges we face now and in the near future. Next slide. In this context, research and innovation are crucial. Too often we see funds invested in research and innovation that does not really respond to the needs of water operators. With this in mind, we set up in 2019 a joint working group and asked our members for input. We received more than 350 proposals. In order to present them all, we regrouped them by topics and presented the outcome in spring 2020 at the General Assembly of Euro under the headline, Innovating for a Greener Future, European Water Service Priorities. Here, and this is the next slide, I show you two slides on the spectrum of innovation needs drinking water and wastewater operators from all over Europe reported back. You see the big topics like climate change adaptation and mitigation here to develop technical solutions, new approaches. You see pollutants of emerging concern and antimicrobial resistant to investigate impacts also to, to develop new technologies. So you see analytical methods, develop new sensors, cost-effective and reliable uh, analytical methods. You see another big topic, which is on energy efficiency. And then on the next slide, it continues with um, sustainable business models. On the next slide, it, con it continues with sustainable business models of the future. And then also that big, big, big topic on digitalization of the water sector. Although Euro had approached the topic from a more technological perspective for a number of years, we see today that water utilities in nearly all member states continue to face problems in accessing and implementing inventive solutions. Next slide. It seems that it is not primarily caused by the lack of technological de developments or solutions available, but rather by the policy side, which regulates the capacity of water utilities to invest in innovation. The fact that utilities in a number of countries find it difficult to even maintain the infrastructure in place demonstrates how difficult for some of them the situation is. Additionally, implementing innovative solutions needs to be accompanied with human resource management to adapt to the chosen solutions, attracting pride people with vision and creativity will be key to realize our future. Significant amounts of mainly European but also national public funds are invested in the early stages of the innovation cycle. This opportunity can easily be lost if the research results do not reach the European water sector at an economically viable scale or do not respond to their real life needs. Innovation is therefore much more than an appendix to research. It is integral part of the whole cycle and should be treated as such. Next slide. 
a number of barriers may slow down innovation in the water sector. They include inflexible and prescriptive legislation, missing life cycle assessment data showing that new solutions do not only address one particular issue, but provide a wider sustainability benefits. A barrier can also be a lack of knowledge on innovative solution or a lack of innovative financing solutions or technological solutions not adapted to the needs of water services providers, as I said earlier, and of course, a lack of public support. Let me come to an end and thank you very much for this op opportunity to address the Blue Planet Berlin Water Dialogues. Now I'm very much excited to listen to you and learn about the latest developments in asset management and water utilities in smart cities. Thank you very much for your attention. <clears throat>